want to do cutaways? Yes, I'll have to do reverse okay. questions and cutaways. Yes. You're from Fort Worth, huh? Well. Okay, yes, so I will. We should probably keep the interview. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Tape is rolling. Stand by. Well, I feel right at home with you two fellas because, of course, Dennis, you're from Houston, and right. I know your brother Randy. And uh, Gordon, you tell me that uh, your daughter li lives in Dallas. Yeah. So I, I feel like I'm among friends here. Um, of course, the movie is getting so very much attention. And uh, I know, Dennis, that you actually met Gordon. Not all of the, the actors got to meet the people they portray, but you actually met Gordon before. Yeah. And I'm wondering, after you met him, did it help you or did, in some sense, it inhibit you? No, it really helped me a lot. In fact, uh, I figured here I am going to be doing, to me, I was doing his life story, not just the movie. And I wanted to get a lot of things right and check a lot of facts with him about what was going on. So we had two four hour sessions. And after that, I felt, okay, we've met, and now I have to go do the script, which is, you know, a little changed. And so, uh, we didn't, I don't think we really saw each other. We talked on the phone a couple of times during the filming of the movie. We never met after that. But it helped me out quite a bit. Gordon, then the obvious question I have to ask you is, are you pleased with the way he portrays you? Yes, I think he did an excellent job, really. Do you think he might have overdone the hot dog image a little bit? Well, I think that was overdone in the book, and uh, maybe even a little more so in the film. I guess, the, though, when you really look at it, when I kind of backed up and looked at it, in order to portray my personality, it would take a lot longer to portray it if you didn't kind of get into the hot dog image. <laughs> I guess the end result is I, it's pretty close to me, but I'm not quite that uh, loud about it, I guess. <laughs> you think you've mellowed through the years then? No, not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten a little smarter about opening my mouth at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon, a couple of the scenes in the movie uh, indicate that maybe some of the astronauts didn't really like John Glenn all that much. Did you like him? Yes, I did and I do and I think uh, most of us do. Uh, there was less of a rift among the uh, seven of us. Uh, uh, then, then either the book or the, uh, or the, I think in fact the book portrayed the rift a little more than the, than the film did. Uh, we're, we were and are like a group of brothers. We might disagree amongst ourselves. We might get down to almost fisticuffs on disagreements. But we still were very close and we always uh, reached an agreement within the group on everything. What went out of the astronaut office was the astronaut opinion. Uh, do you uh, agree or disagree with the way John Glenn is talking about the movie, calling it Laurel and Hardy go to space and those kinds of comments? Well, I haven't really, uh, I really haven't heard him talking about it in that vein. I have discussed the movie a bit with him and uh, I hadn't, uh, hadn't really heard those comments from him on it. I think he, uh, I think he really has been making kind of an effort just to stay clear of the movie uh, in that Perhaps he feels that uh, politically, maybe he'd be better to hold a neutral ground until after the movie's out and people have seen it. Do you think it will help or hurt his candidacy? In my personal opinion, it's going to help him a great deal because uh, as far as I'm concerned, what I can see, the last several presidents have been elected by exposure. And I don't know how he can help but get some of the best exposure possible with the uh, movie. Dennis, get, getting back to you, uh, one of the scenes, of course, in, as you play Gordon Cooper, is when he falls asleep while he's on the launch pad. Mm. Uh, I presume that happened, didn't it? happened for As a matter of fact, my wife said that's the most authentic thing she's ever seen. <laughs> that he did a perfect job of portraying me <laughs> asleep and waking up. <laughs> Dennis, did you find that difficult to believe, though, that a man at that point in time would fall asleep? Well. Not after really talking to, to Gordon about all that because you had to remember they'd been in the spacecraft for what, a couple of years, been getting inside and doing simulations and they knew every part of it. And By the time you get up there, it's, uh, it's another day. Of course, you are going to launch and as well, but uh, it's not that hard to believe, not from him. What was the most uncomfortable thing that you as an actor had to go through in doing this film? Uncomfortable? Mm-hmm. 
I don't think it was really, I'd call anything uncomfortable about, uh, about this whole film and the movie. It was the time of my life. I mean, we, there were a lot of spots where you were in tight situations or maybe you could call them uncomfortable sitting. And like I, for the spacecraft scenes, I actually, I sat in spacecraft for about seven hours just to like get a feeling of what it's like to sit in it for that long. And, uh, but I just took everything as a challenge that came up rather than worrying about whether it was going to be uncomfortable or not. Did you ever fantasize about yourself in that situation, really? Of course. I think a lot of us do. I mean, uh, I, just, I myself still would like to be one of the first civilians in space. Would you now? Sure. Abramson is uh, listening. Uh, put it in right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> put it in your request. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to thank both of you very much for having this, um, giving us this opportunity to talk with you. It was great seeing you, Dennis and uh, Gordon Cooper. Very, very nice having an opportunity to meet you. Thank, thank you, you both, and good luck with the right stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Now, how are we going to do these reverses? Uh, like if you can cut me about here, okay? All right. Some reactions. Maybe a little somewhere to be out of Sound for questions, please. Oh, it's, it's got to be more than that. Okay. Um, Dennis, did meeting Gordon Cooper help you or inhibit you? Did you find the fact that he fell asleep while waiting to launch, uh, did you find that really hard to believe? Uh, even if we have to go to another tape, I absolutely must have no, these questions. Okay, I've got to have it though. I've just well, got to have it. Okay, all right. Questions. Okay. Um, some of the scenes indicated that perhaps you astronauts did not like John Glenn. What is your reaction to that? Do you think the movie will help or hurt John Glenn's candidacy? Um, Okay, okay.